Brenner here with uh, the star from Mount Alaska, Wisconsin, Manny Putz. Uh, obviously, we didn't know if the encore could be better than the original in terms of the stretch run, but there's just something about you and Juan Gonzalez and Robert Matura that it's, uh, you guys elevate each other and, uh, and you like to compete with one yep. another. When you when you make that last turn and you know and, and here goes the all-out sprint to, uh, to the finish, or it, it, at any point in your mind are you like, here we go again? Th it, this seems very familiar. Absolutely. You know, even before that last turn, uh, the last like 1,000 meters, I knew Juan was right there and I knew Robert was close by, and I was like, okay, this is an NXR all over again. And uh, in a way, it was kind of a nice feeling because it wasn't completely new. I know those guys. I know their strength. And so that's why I kind of kicked a little bit uh, around like a thousand meters just so they wouldn't have too much energy uh, in that last hundred meters because man if I just if we just left that race to a kick I mean it would have been a battle and I don't know if I would have made it but yeah it's always good, great seeing those these boys um, and get to the, uh, challenge them in the last hundred meters because man we are all so good at uh, finishing the race very fast. So obviously while you're always going to be connected with, with them, mm -hmm. this is one of the most incredible days ever for Wisconsin, right? Yes. Ready, ready Land, Ethan Olds, yes. uh, and, and you, I mean, like, just what, what, what does that mean to you just in, in, in repre representing the state in, uh, in such, a, such a meaningful and such an inspiring way to have three of those five individuals from Wisconsin? You know, it just shows that I feel like the Wisconsin athletes were just really tough. Like, we deal with hilly courses all the time, and then we come out here to South Dakota of uh, the flatlands basically and uh, we just grind on these courses so i think that it's so cool that three athletes got in the top five and are not going to go to nationals and uh, it just shows that wisconsin athletes are tough we work hard every other state does too uh but i don't know like wisconsin athletes we just know how to fight these <laughs> tough courses so when we come to courses that are this, like this they're pretty flat it's just light work most definitely uh i mean grady said that he took you know a great deal of like just kind of reassurance and affirmation with you know the performance at the state meet i mean obviously yes. <clears throat> no one knows and understands better than you manny about how to, yes. how to you know build the season and how to you know, set up the you know the training and the peaks at the right time but mm -hmm. like when you, when, when you saw that out of him, and obviously we know that Ethan, whether it's with his Spash team or by himself, is always yeah. going to rise to the occasion in the big moments. But you know, did, did you kind of, you know, kind of, you know, conceptualize that like, wow, yeah. like these guys are in form. Like it could be a, it could be a good day for us in South Dakota. A absolutely. You know, I gave it my almost absolute all at state and uh, you know I, I was not feeling the best after that state meet because like I was exhausted I was tired and because of that I knew that Robert not Robert uh, Grady Len had a pretty good chance of making it in the top five here um, in the you know week after state because like I said I gave a, a good amount of effort in that race and I was like wow if Grady Len was pushing me that much I mean, he's, he's competing really well, and he's going to do really good in South Dakota. And now that he's in the top five, it feels so amazing. It's going to be a familiar face with me going uh, to NXN, and then uh, now we got a third. I didn't even realize uh, Ethan. Yeah. So I'm so proud of him, and it just adds to the excitement. Last thing, and I say this not for pressure or expectation, but respect for you uh, yes. and appreciation for you. I really feel like that for all the discussion about other regions, uh, that I really feel like, you know, if I'm not looking at a national champion right now, yes. uh, that I, I know that it could come from your, your, your group of three. Uh, yes. I mean, is that something that you guys really want to embody and, and use as inspiration and motivation in the next five weeks? Absolutely. We want to do good as a team. Um, we're all from, from Wisconsin, so we're all going to support each other. Uh, but just like we're, we're also from Wisconsin, we're also competitive. So we're going to push each other. Uh, we're going to hope all of us individually have a great day. But then at, after the race, we're going to come together and just be appreciative of what each of us did and just be happy that you know we even made it to NXN. It's a blessing to even be there, and so we're not going to take that for granted. Heartland uh, could very well have five individuals that are all Americans, and they uh, also could have many guys on the podium on December 7th at Glendivere Golf Course, and I could be looking at the national champion right now. Uh, Manny, stay healthy. Uh, best of luck going forward. Yes, sir. Thank you.